The time frame is important here. We have been married for three years. We were together as a couple for two years before that. So we've been together for about five years. Two weekends ago her sister got married and of course my wife was in the wedding party. So as you would expect she spent the two weeks prior to the wedding helping her sister get everything ready. No big deal at all. She kept me informed and I knew this was going to happen. She took that Wednesday, Friday off of work to help her and in fact stayed with her three days. I certainly know her sister but I barely know the guy who is now my brother-in-law. In fact only met him a few times but he seems nice enough. I show up Saturday morning a few hours before the ceremony in hopes of stealing just a few minutes to see her. Not wanting to intrude on the day since I know she is busy, but I hadn't seen her since Tuesday. She sees me outside of her parents' house and sends her brother out to tell me that she will come out and see me at the car, which I thought was odd but whatever. She finally comes out and sits in the seat next to me and gives me a kiss but instead of acting happy to see me or whatever she tells me that she has to talk to me and she doesn't want it to ruin her sister's day. She informs me that at the reception if I still want to go I might hear some things about the best man in her and she didn't want it to be awkward or weird. I just kind of sat there stunned. She said that about four years ago she had a fling with him and that it didn't mean anything but she was aware that by nature I'm somewhat jealous and she wanted me to know in advance so that if I heard something that I wouldn't be surprised. Again I just kind of sat there. This was not how I thought my morning would go but I told her I appreciated knowing it and that it certainly wasn't a big deal now. She went back in the house and I went to eat lunch and decided to meet her at the church. As I'm eating and reading my phone it dawns on me. She said she had a fling with him four years ago and we've been together five. My first reaction was to blow it off and think that she just told me the wrong time but the more I thought about it the more I started to remember about a year and a half of us being together she had a phase where she was really sketchy about her behavior. Wasn't available when she normally was and went on two weekend camping trips that were with friends from work. Of course I'm a little knotted up over this but I know I have a long day ahead of me. I go to the wedding and sit there watching everything. After the wedding they have a line that you walk by and congratulate the bride and groom and the wedding party is standing in line as well. My wife is standing with some other guy I don't know him at all but the best man was there and I just went down the line and acted like no big deal. Get to the reception and it takes forever for them to come because of photos. She finally gets there and sits with me. I decided not to say anything as I didn't want to distract from the day. But instead of just letting it go she then tells me that each of the groomsmen and bridesmaids are going to dance and that she is going to be dancing with him. I ask why when she was not his partner for the party and she said that the maid of honor and her partner were actually married and wanted to dance with each other. At this point I'm a little more than perturbed but I try and not let it show. Thankfully I was smart enough to not drink because I freely admit I'm an angry drunk so I know when not to even partake. She talks to everyone around her. And then the dance comes and he comes over and extends his arm and she gets up. I try not to watch and in fact I make it a point not to. She comes back with him in tow and they are joking like the best of friends. She decides that it would be a good idea to introduce us and while I didn't say to fuck off like I wanted to my greeting to him was probably then cordial. But it did not deter him from sitting and talking with her for a few minutes. The more they sat and talked and reminisced about old times and places the matter I got. Eventually I got up and went to the bathroom and when I came back he was gone. She decided to tell me that she thought I was rude which was not what I was all about hearing at the moment. I told her that this wasn't the time or place to talk about it but rest assured we would talk later. She sat there and then said that she was going to change cloths. And as soon as she got back she was telling her sister that we were leaving because I had ruined her day but she didn't want me to ruin her sister's day as well. I told her that I was perfectly capable of not being a bother to her or her sister the rest of the day. And that I did not want to be the cause of any drama so I would prefer to just stay. She went and changed clothes and then came back all in a huff. Now understand I have not said a word to her I even shook the other guy's hand. I guess I just looked miserable so that is what she was basing this off of. She was adamant about not staying and so I said that if she really wanted to go we could go but if she would rather stay I would be happy to stay or if she would like since I came in my own car I would leave so she could stay. She at first said that we should stay but then said if I couldn't act any better I should leave. I asked how I was acting and she said it was obvious I was trying to be like a silverback gorilla wanting to fight. I didn't know whether to laugh in her face or be offended. I went back in and sat down while she mingled with the other guest. I talked with her brother for a while, but then ultimately ended up back at our table talking with her grandma. We leave at the same time and I arrived home just before she did. I was sitting in the living room waiting on her when she came in and did not beat around the bush. I simply asked her to retell me the story about this other guy and she said it word for word like before. 
After sitting and looking at her for a time I just said are you sure about the time frame and she said she was. I then reminded her that we had been together for 5 years so this fling was well over a year into our being together. What happened next I can't really put into words. Instead of being flustered or denying or anything she simply said I know. So I asked her to explain and she tells me that they worked together and that it was just a physical thing and she felt like we weren't in a great place at the time and that she never had any feelings for him and never had any real intentions of leaving me. She just was having some fun for a few weekends. She said that it was probably a mistake on her part to tell me now but she didn't want me to get blindsided. I did not take this the way she thought I would I guess. We had a very large argument and ended when she told me I was being a child about all of this. That we were married and this happened way before th and our life together now has nothing to do with him or that time. Well two things. One I adamantly disagree about this has no bearing on us. She fucking cheated on me and doesn't even have the goddamn decency to feel guilty about it. Two I hate being told I am childish when I get upset over something. It pisses me off to no end because that is her way of acting superior to me. I told her I needed time to think and she told me there was nothing to think about. We loved each other and this didn't change anything. That was two weeks ago and I still am not over it. She has been trying the past few days to get me to talk to her but I admit that for whatever reason I'm not viewing her the same as I did before this. Part of me is like that this is stupid. It happened a few years ago and we are married now and there hasn't been any problems at all. But then part of me is like I just found out she cheated on me and it hurts like a motherfucker and what makes it worse is that instead of trying to understand how I feel she is trying to guilt me into just not even thinking about it. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry for the length I probably should have cut out some of the wedding stuff, but it all came out at once.